Hi, this is Jonathan Marks, and I'm here today with Dr. Andrew Nirenberg. He's the director of the Bipolar Clinic and Research Program at Massachusetts General Hospital. He's also a professor of psychiatry at Harvard Medical School, and he's on the board of APSARD, the American Professional Society of ADHD-Related Disorders. APSARD is holding its annual meeting this coming January 15th to 17th, 2016 at the Mandarin Oriental Hotel in Washington, D.C., and Dr. Nirenberg is going to be giving a presentation on ADHD and the risk for bipolar disorder, integrating findings from research in children and adults. Dr. Nirenberg, can you give us a summary of what you'll be presenting? Sure. There's been a lot of controversy in the pediatric literature about whether or not ADHD is a part of bipolar disorder, whether bipolar disorder can happen in kids, what the criteria are, and there's really been a very big fight among some of the leading researchers. But I'm actually interested in the other side of things. All of the adults that we see who have bipolar disorder were once children, and retrospectively we can get a sense of what sort of burden they had with ADHD as they were growing up, but at the current time, we can ask them if, in fact, they meet criteria for ADHD and how that's affected their lives. And what we have found over time is that those people who do endorse having ADHD is that they do have a, a much harder time with dealing with bipolar disorder, as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. If you have ADHD and bipolar disorder, well, it's worse than if you just have bipolar disorder because you have an additional burden that comes along with it. And what percentage of bipolar people have ADHD? Do we know that? People with bipolar disorder who are adults, um, it's probably 7%. You know, really what we're talking about is people's ability to organize themselves, uh, to have reasonable impulse control, and that can overlap with bipolar disorder. The difference if you have ADHD is that it's pretty constant. Where people who have bipolar disorder, they have problems with impulse control mostly when they're manic. Mm -hmm. But also, you know, people with ADHD and bipolar disorder are at higher risk for smoking, for getting into all sorts of trouble, both at work and in relationships. Uh, compared to people who just have bipolar disorder without ADHD. Dr. Andrew Nirenberg is going to be presenting again at the APSARD annual meeting January 15th to 17th at the Mandarin Oriental Hotel in Washington, D.C. We look forward to seeing you there and learning more. Thanks, doctor. Thank you.